morning, everybody. This is day two here uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, we are super excited to be sponsoring the 2022 uh, edition of Cybos back in person after two years of COVID. As you can see behind me, um, the uh, brand new uh, Adenza visual identity after the merger of uh, Calypso and XMSL. And uh, we'll be welcoming a lot of uh, clients and prospects the, during those four days. And of course, we'll be sharing content on different topics like uh, ESG, Treasury, central banking, uh, regulatory reporting, and cryptocurrency. So I'm here together with uh, Sameh Fouad, our Managing Director for the Middle East uh, uh, African region. Uh, Sameh, uh, uh, good morning. Good morning, hello. Um, I see a lot of uh, institutions from your region here at Cybos. How can you explain that? Well, uh, actually, you're right, Hervé, uh, over the, um, the course of the Cybos, we've seen uh, a lot of scheduled meeting with uh, customers in the region. Uh, so almost like um, uh, a dominant presence from Middle East and Africa banks to be attending the Cybos. And I think uh, the reason why is that after, uh, it, it's, it always has been a very successful event for Middle East and Africa uh, to attend Cybos uh, generally, but also after the uh, pandemic and uh, two years without having this uh, physical event, I think the, most of the banks have uh, decided they, they need to be participating in that to follow on the trends uh, coming up in the world of the capital market payment, etc. Uh, and to see where the world is going with the banking industry. What are those trends? Uh, what, what you're hearing from those uh, financial institutions from within your region? There is a huge trend on the new uh, technology of payment in general. Uh, we see a lot of uh, emphasis now on the regulatory as well. Uh, as you can imagine, after such a, a, a crisis, uh, every bank is also looking at uh, how to follow the, the international regulatories and the regulatory parties are, are pushing banks to invest more in that space. Okay, so Sami, thank you very much. Uh, you. I wish you a very successful Cybos and so looking forward to meeting you next year. Absolutely. I'm here with uh, Mourad Gay. Uh, Mourad is our um, Director of Market Specialist for Capital Market Solution. Uh, and um, and Mourad, uh, hello, how are you? Hello, hi everyone. You are uh, driving a session on our booth uh, about the ESG and the impact for Treasury, uh, especially for the Treasury uh, solution of Calypso. Can you just explain, elaborate a little bit more on what, what, what do you mean by that? We claim that sitting behind a Treasury management system like Calypso, you can act positively on the planet. That's the first claim. Okay. And the second claim, you can also act positively on people, your client, your, your, your employees, etc. And we can demonstrate that. And this is what we have been doing since yesterday, demonstrating that from a treasury management system, from Calypso, you can uh, act positively on the environment and on people. So what you mean is that even from, from, a, from a, a software standpoint, we can make some decisions uh, that would be driven by specific choices related to the ESG. Exactly, our demonstration is twofold. It start with an assumption. What is ESG for the capital market? And like I always say, ESG is not about cycling to go to office, right? For capital markets, ESG is when you spend money, you spend it in a conscious way, in a way that is positive to the environment. So what we claim that we do is, whether you're a trader, whether you are a portfolio manager, you are sitting in a system, before you spend your money, you know upfront whether this money is going in the right direction in terms of ESG. And we demonstrate that. Okay, so thanks, really, really interesting. So thank you very much, Morad. You're welcome. And have a good Cybos. Thank you very much. Thank you.